Hey guys, it's Amy. Today I wanted to talk to you about my Electric XP e-bike and the accessories that I decided to buy for it um, right when I got it. So these are really just the essential accessories that you need to buy. You can also buy extra things if you want to be extra. I decided that I didn't need to do that, so I wanted to go ahead and just show you the things that you actually need when you get your Electric XP. So the number one thing that you need to do when you get your Electric XP is change the seat. So the standard stock seat is really terrible. Um, take that thing off, throw it in the trash, and buy a new seat. You're going to want to buy the Cloud9 Cruiser seat. I will link everything that I talk about below. And the Cloud9, there's a couple versions of it, so just depending on your preference, you may have to buy a few. But this is the one that I like and is very comfortable for me. Um, some women will have different preferences than men for obvious reasons. But the Cloud9 seat is something that I'm going to definitely recommend getting right away and uh, just get rid of that stock seat. On the front of the bike, what you're gonna wanna do is get a phone mount. So I actually went through three or four phone mounts before I found one that I liked um, and actually held my phone securely without being rattly or annoying. And I have a, an iPhone, I had an iPhone 10 and now I have an iPhone 12 for reference, but most of these phone holders are made to fit just about any phone. So you're probably not gonna have a problem unless you have like a flip phone or something like that. <laughs> In which case it's probably indestructible. So you're all good. You're also gonna wanna add additional lights. So the electric does come stock with front and back lights. However, they're not very bright and you're gonna figure that out as soon as you go on your first night ride. Um, you're going to want to add more. I actually added some um, on my handlebars as well as in the back uh, on my rear cargo basket. One thing I added that I really love is a water bottle holder. I like to drink while I ride, especially in the summer when it's hot. You definitely want to have this if you're going to go on trail rides, but just keep in mind that you're going to have to tighten it real well to keep the bottle from flying off of your bike because it might happen. It happened to me once and uh, luckily I rescued my bottle from a nearby gutter, <laughs> but it does happen and it's something that you're gonna wanna have so you don't have to reach back into your basket to get your water bottle. So on the back of my bike, like I said, I bought a, a light to attach to the back, kind of like a tail light. I also bought a wire basket from Target. A lot of people do milk crates, but I decided what I wanted to do was something a little more clean looking. Um, it looks a lot more open because it's not closed and it's actually just a storage basket from Target, which I will link below. It comes in a couple different colors. It's been great. People ask me all the time where I got it and it's not a bike basket at all, but it works really well. I've had no issues with it coming off or moving at all. Just make sure you position it correctly when you first get it um, so you can lean in and lean out whenever you want without getting obstructed by the basket. On the front of my bike, I also added a side mirror from Hafni. This is something that I got on Amazon and it's been really helpful to be able to see people behind me. I actually have metal rods on my back and it makes me not as mobile so I can't turn around to see people on the side of me as easily and this side mirror has been a lifesaver. It does take a little bit of tweaking to get it in the right position but once you do have it you'll be happy because you can see cars or other bikers coming up on you and that is definitely an essential if you're going to be commuting with this bike. When I got my electric, I wanted to get a good helmet without spending a small fortune on it. So I found one on Amazon from the brand called Outdoor Master. And it comes in like a ton of colors. I think it comes in adults and kids. So I was really happy with this helmet. It has some vents. Um, it's not a professional grade helmet, but it's not a professional grade price. So it's a great starter helmet. You can always get something fancier down the line if you'd like to. But in the meantime, wear your helmet. So my wire basket from Target is really great, but when you put stuff in it and you go over bumps, it might actually fall out. So what you wanna do is put a cargo net over this. I got it on Amazon really cheap. You can just hook it over your basket and it makes sure that everything stays in. I'm always cold when I'm riding, so I like to keep an extra jacket in my rear basket. It weighs almost nothing and you can just go ahead and make sure it doesn't fall out with the cargo net. I've never lost anything and I'm really happy with the one that I bought and it wasn't that expensive, so. Pretty good buy. If you're like me and you have a small dog that you wanna take along for the ride, you're gonna want a basket. I bought the one that attaches to my handlebars because I can see my dog and make sure she doesn't jump out and run for some squirrels. It actually has a little hook on it to hook under her harness and she absolutely loves it. I also got her some sunglasses, which actually she kinda of needs when it's really bright and windy and uh, also they're adorable, so. <laughs> The basket that I got is from Bark Bay. It comes in a couple different colors, although I got the hot pink option. <laughs> Luckily, I have a fluffy, girly dog already, so it doesn't really matter, but I absolutely love taking her along with me, and I feel like she's secure and safe in the bicycle, 
and uh, I don't feel like she's gonna fall out, which is key. My dog Sophie is about 11 pounds. This basket supports up to 15 pounds, so she can afford to gain a few pounds here and there and uh, still fit in the basket without me having to worry that she's gonna rip it open. It also has a cool mesh sleeve that opens, so they actually get a little more airflow in the basket if it was really hot or you just have a really fluffy dog. So sometimes when you buy electric, they will send you free pannier bags, which is the bags that go on the back rear fender, but they're not very good quality. There's a reason that they're free and uh, most people don't like them. I do think they'll fall apart eventually, but so far they're working pretty well. I put things in here like a lock, um, my house keys, anything that I don't want to lose or I wanna just have with me like a little tool set, that's a really good place for it. And um, they hold a decent amount of stuff, surprisingly. There's one particular accessory with electric that is kind of controversial amongst electric users. It is the suspension seat post. So I mostly ride on paved roads. I don't do a lot of trails and I don't feel like I really need a suspension seat post, but I went ahead and bought one just to try it out and I will link that one below. I didn't feel like it really made much of a difference on my body. Um, I'm in my late 20s, so that could be part of it, but I don't really feel like it was needed and it was just a little too expensive to keep. I think it was around like 80 or $90 on Amazon. So I decided to go ahead and return that, but a lot of people do enjoy using those seat posts if they're planning on going on more rigorous uh, rides. I previously made a video about my electric XP experience after having it for 200 miles, and I mentioned walk mode being something that I don't like. So walk mode is basically set up to help you walk up a hill. Um, I don't live in a very hilly area, and I just recently used walk mode for the first time on purpose. Typically it's on accident and I push it instead of hitting the headlight button, which is the other button, but it was great. Uh, I take back what I said about walk mode. It was super useful up a hill. I do wish there was a way to turn it off, that feature on and off so that I don't hit it on accident because I seem to do that a lot and I don't think I'm the only one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer it. And if I can't answer it, I will at least point you in the right direction as far as resources go. For anyone interested, the dog that I put inside of the pink basket is this dog. This is Sophie. She's an 11 pound Pomeranian mix. She loves bike life. Whenever I get my bike out, she thinks she's coming with me and she gets really excited. But here she is in all of her fluffdom. We get her shaved in the summer, but in the winter she gets to keep all of her fur. So she looks a little bit bigger, but she actually is only 11 pounds. You want to go for a ride? She wants to go for a ride.